overcoming grief. Are we prepared for death of a loved one? Either a sudden accident or a sustained illness. Death is uh, personal and final and most of us are not prepared for its arrival. With every death, there is a loss and with every loss, there will be grief, of course. It is deep inside. Ang kamatayon walay time frame. Today we are alive, but tomorrow we don't know. Only God knows. I experienced in, uh, in my family a sudden accident and also a sustained illness. We cannot avoid all these things. The pain, the pain for the loss of the loved ones. Grip is painful as it is. It needs healing. We come to God. We ask help. We pray. For only God can heal the pain in our heart, can deliver us. Use these Bible verses for overcoming grief. John 16, 22. So with you, now is your time of grief. But I will see you again and you will rejoice and no one will take away your joy. Revelation 21, verse 4. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things has passed away. Declare these promises in the Bible when you pray. Do not allow your situation become worse because of the pain. But give it to God and pray and declare His words. No one can help you. Even friend, even family, only God can help you when it comes like this because it is inside in the heart. It is the feeling. Philippians 4.13 I can do all this through Him who gives me strength. It is God who can give us strength. Ask the Lord for strength to carry on. Romans 8 verse 18 I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. Romans 12 verse 2 Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve that God's will is His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Psalm 34 verse 18 The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. If you come to the Lord and ask for help, He will save you. He will deliver you because it is His promises. But how can He deliver you if you don't call upon His name? If you don't pray, you have to pray with humility and come to His presence. Matthew 11 verse 28 to 30 Come to me all you who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Psalm 147 verse 3 He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. It is His promise that He heals the brokenhearted. He heals our pain, our sorrow. Psalm 73 verse 26 My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. 
who give you strength. It is God, by His grace and mercy, His love endures forever, even though we are not worthy in His sight. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13 to 18 Brothers and sisters, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in debt so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again, and so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in Him. According to the Lord's word, we tell you that we are still alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. John 14 verse 1 Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Matthew chapter 5 verse 4 Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Isaiah 53 verse 4 to 6 Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering yet we considered him punished by God stricken by him and afflicted but he was pierced for our in- transgression he was crushed for our iniquities the punishment that brought us peace was on him and by his wounds we are healed we all like sheep have gone astray Each of us has torn to our own way, and the Lord has the lead on him, the iniquity of us all. Joshua 1 verse 9 Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous, do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. If you are in a situation that your loved ones is gone, do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. The more you go near to God, the more you have an intimate relationship with the Lord. Keep praying, for He will go with you wherever you go. It is His promise. He is a God who does not lie, nor the Son of Man who should change his mind and heart what he see it he will do it romans 8 verse 28 and we know that in all things god works for the good of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 to 17 There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to love. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing a time to search and a time to give up a time to keep and a time to throw away a time to tear and a time to mend a time to be silent and a time to speak a time to love and a time to hate a time for war and a time for peace What do workers gain for their toil? I have seen the burden. God has to lead on the human race. 
He has made everything bountiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart. Yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. I know that there is nothing better for people than to be happy and to do good while delayed. That each of them may eat and drink and find satisfaction in all their toil. This is the gift of God. I know that everything God does will endure forever. Nothing can be added to it and nothing taken from it. God does it so that people will fear Him. Whatever is has already been and what will be has been before. And God will call the past to account. And I saw something else under the sun. In the place of judgment, wickedness was there in the place of justice. Wickedness was there. I said to myself, God will bring into judgment both the righteous and the wicked, for there will be a time for every activity, a time to judge every day. In every season, there is a time, and we don't know our time. Are we prepared? Are we ready for the time will come? Did we pray that God will extend our lives or the lives of our loved ones? That God will prepare our heart when the time comes? Whether young or you are old, there is no exemption because even young, they are the first than the old. God has already knows our lives when well it ends. But sometimes God can extend it if we pray, if our lives has a purpose, if we ask to extend our lives. It doesn't mean that if you are young, it takes so long. How you know that? Are you sure? No, we cannot sure. Only God knows. And if you are still alive, God has a purpose. God has a plan for your lives. There is a reason why you still alive. Why we are still alive today. Because God is so gracious and merciful. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you with humility and ask, Lord, that if they call upon your name and ask for deliverance, I pray that you will answer them and deliver them whatever situation they are facing right now. Because truly, it is you who can deliver us, who give us strength to carry on. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.